What is happening, all you odd people? Welcome back to episode four of the Invasion Log. Now, I'm sorry there was such a big gap between three and four, but I was enjoying Evil Dead the game, so you should go check that out. Today, we're bringing in the Clean Rot Spears to accompany our trusty Stabby Dagger, as well as the full Clean Rot set so people know that we have class. This Spears weapon art is pretty bad, so I'm looking forward to trying to get people with it. As always, the full build will be available in the description. All right, well, we're gonna be starting off by ruining somebody's boss fight. And well, there we go. We already got rid of the summon. Pretty simple there. Now we do have these lovely little volcano bombs we're gonna be throwing out and they don't do a ton of damage for the most part unless you fail your vigor check. But they are a lot of fun and they do kind of zone people a little bit. People tend to avoid them even though they're not gonna do that much damage. Well, the boss really helped us out there. We're off to a great start. And uh, we got ourselves another invader here. That's kind of interesting. You don't see that every dynasty. Um, and he's running him down. He's got the coated sword, so, you know, he seems a little bit stacked. Uh, well, well, you know, sometimes looks can be deceiving. That's, uh, that, he just got one shot by Moonvale. I feel so bad. All right, well, we're going to lead uh, our little NPC friend here over to the boss um, so that they can play around and we can go deal with the host. And we finally time our carrying correctly. I can't believe we took the first one to the face. And it looks like he's not really passing his vigor check, to be honest. Um, a, a little bit better off, I think, than the, uh, the invader, but not by a lot. Also, what is that spell supposed to do? I can still see you. It's not doing anything. I don't understand why you even wasted the FP. We do take one moon veil to the face, but unfortunately for them, we were really prepared for the second one. All right, man. Okay, we've already seen Moonvale today. Pretty early on. I guess that's not terribly surprising, right? Interrupting another boss fight, popping this gentleman's bubble so we don't accidentally uh, parry and use our damage on his bubble. Man, I was really hoping he would walk into that weapon art. I don't think anyone's going to walk into that weapon art, but we're going to keep trying because I really want to get somebody with it. I want to see how much damage it really does. Hey, look, it's Moonvale's friend, Rivers of Blood. Unfortunately, once again, we were ready for the second attempt, and that was the end of our friend there. Wow. All right, so we've seen Moonvale, we've seen Rivers of Blood. What, what what else is there to see, right? That's Elden Ring. I guess that's the end of the video. Good night. I'm just kidding. But this fight is over, because the boss decides that it's over. Uh, like he decides many of my fights are over, and you have to listen to the boss. All right, so I have a hell of a time. Haha, <laughs> I got him with my volcano bomb. Anyway, I have a hell of a time parrying these godskin peelers. All right, I have a hell of a time parrying pole arms in general, but especially this one, for whatever reason, I, I just don't have the timing down at all. And we're trying really hard to pay attention to Katana Bro because there it is, there's Moonvale, and we don't want to get hit by that. But uh, we are running into everything in creation trying to get away from these individuals. Finally, we get a little bit of a breather, and honestly, we just kind of sit there staring at each other for quite a while. So we're just gonna skip through that because there's really nothing to see there. And finally, one of them decides that he's brave enough to come forward and we do get the parry on them, which is exciting. However, as you can see, this gentleman has quite a bit of health and they did not die, which is unfortunate. But I believe they did manage to pull the boss and that's really the goal is to get one of them distracted with the boss while we deal with the other. Let's see if he walks into it again. Yes, he does. Hello, Moonvale. It's nice to see you. Seems like we might be seeing a lot of moon veils and rivers of blood today, the way this is starting out. He does manage to survive though, and we don't quite get our throwing knife off in time, which is really upsetting. But we see if we can bait him out again by going towards his, uh, what we believe to be the host friend over here. And if we can get him a little bit closer and to use another moon veil, I think we can get the parry on him and finish him off. Especially with the boss chipping away at his health right here. And he almost finishes the job, but he narrowly escapes there. However, my buddy decides to stop half-assing it and ends that pretty quick. Now this guy's using a whip. I don't know why we try to parry it for so long, but we get one throwing knife off, two throwing knives off, and then we die, which is really saddening. Now this is definitely one of my favorite invasions of the day. We, uh, we start off with dual curved sword guy over here, and I'm not really sure what the, the ultra great sword guy is doing. He spends a lot of this just running around guarding with his ultra great sword, which just doesn't seem like a good use of his time. I think if he played it a little bit better, this might have ended a little differently. Our wolf friend gets involved for a moment, which was probably a mistake because now he's dead. 
But we're really looking for an opening here. We're waiting for them to step into the parry, and they do. And that's the end of Curved Sword Guy. Which is good, because the hunter arrives shortly after. And he's got another polearm, which I'm not great at parrying. We already talked about that earlier. I just don't quite have the timing down. So we use a lot of our volcano bombs here to try to separate them, because again, most people don't want to step through them. They'll go around, which gives you a little bit more time, even though they don't do a ton of damage in of themselves. But this man walks into the parry, and we screw it up. We screw it up by pulling out the wrong freaking weapon. We already had our dagger out. I do this all the time. I, 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 it upsets me every single time it happens. But next time, we're going to be ready. Next time, we're not going to mess it up. And we do try to get him with our weapon art here. We just barely miss. Um, I swear I'm going to get somebody with it. I'm going to get somebody good with it eventually. But it is really slow. It's really easy to see coming. And it has a delay before it even hits after you manage to finish it. So the odds of you getting to hit them and the damage isn't great either. Also, this is a perfectly good example of why you don't spam parry. Because you get backstabbed. And that happens to me quite often as well. Because I think they're going to walk into it and they just walk around and stab me in the back. See? See what he's doing? He's just walking around garden with his ultra great sword. It's super weird. We do get a little good, a uh, little bit of a good trade with him, but see, watch this, watch this, watch. See how the ultra great sword guy went completely around that, and it takes him forever to actually get involved in the fight. He could have just walked through it; it would have been fine, but he chose not to because it's scary looking, right? See, look at him. He's just garden. Why are you doing this? What is the purpose? All right, he walked through it that time. He walked through it that time, but barely, barely. Now, the blue guy doesn't seem to be nearly as scared, right? But he's the one, or really the only one in this situation, that we can actually get a parry on. As long as the other guy is two-handing that weapon, there's not much we can do with him. So we're kind of waiting while this man runs around guarding. We're waiting for that opening again on blue guy. And I'm pretty sure it's coming up here. He does walk right into it. There we go. And we don't pull out the wrong weapon this time, which is wildly important. And he's back to guarding. So honestly, I think I'm going to try to guard break him here if he continues to do this, because it shouldn't take that much, at least not with the spears. So let's see if he continues to guard us here, because I don't think it's going to work out for him. Hey, we got him with the weapon art. We got him with the weapon art. Hey, the, and the damage was a little bit better than I thought, but I think that's because we hit them with that first, uh, that first part of the attack, which doesn't usually happen. I'm a little upset here because I might have been able to take out four, but uh, that hunter didn't quite get there in time. These guys were honestly pretty uh, difficult to separate. We had to back up the stairs and we're trying to get the boss involved here so that we can at least peel off one or two of them and then hopefully have a little bit more of an even fight while they're dealing with that. But the other two are staying really far back. This guy eventually gives us the ability to get the boss involved. He gets just a little bit too close and he's got the, uh, the B rated version of Rivers of Blood there. I think he's just uh, put on the, the double slash weapon art, I believe is what it's called. Double slash? Yeah, I think it's double slash. We do have to back up here because screw that ice breath. We're not stepping into that. And the other two kind of peel off to deal with the boss at this point. So all we've got is Jarhead Man to deal with. And I don't know what was with the delay on that bleed, but that was interesting. Probably one of the reasons that we're missing our parry so bad, if that's any indication of his connection, right? See, they don't really do that much damage. They do a little bit of damage, but even if you stood in it, it really wouldn't do that much. But he avoided the hell out of the second one. Well, right up until the end, huh? So eventually we give up on trying to parry this man and we just stab him, which immediately works. So I feel a little bit down about that because I tried so hard to parry him for so long and it just really wasn't necessary, right? All right, but now we're going to go deal with the other two. And this is definitely the most disheartening moment of, uh, of the invasion night for me. Because you'll see here in a second, my controller dies. And I, I'm fairly certain I would have won this, this engagement if this didn't happen. Watch. See how I'm not moving or doing anything? Right now I'm screaming. Screaming behind the computer because my controller died in the middle of this three man that I was about to win. Well, maybe not about to, but most likely I was going to win. Anyway, did you see this hit on this man? This man has no vigor. His friend tries to come into the side from the side here and it doesn't really work. But yeah, this summon has absolutely no health. So we're going to try to take him out really quick, right? These spears do quite a bit of damage. They're pretty good at running people down. The only problem is they use a lot of stamina. See how his buddy's avoiding the hell out of those volcano pots? He don't want no part of that. Even though they don't do a ton, they don't want to step in them. It's very good for zoning. I know I keep bringing that up, but it's important. 
And we just barely managed to get him here. We switched to our throwing knives, but we're not quick enough, which is upsetting. I know I keep saying upsetting a lot. I feel like every video I pick like one word, like unfortunate or upsetting. And then I just say it over and over and over again. And I'm like, I'm aware it's happening, but I cannot help myself. And we're starting to see here that the host also doesn't have a whole lot of health. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're not really doing a ton of damage either. So I, I don't know where they put their points. Ha! We got him with the weapon art, but there you go. See how much damage that did? That shouldn't do that much damage to anybody, but it did. So these guys have no points in health. They're not doing a ton of damage. I'm not really sure where their points are, to be honest. Look at that. That's crazy talk. You're crazy. How'd you even make it this far? What level are you? I'm confused. But we finally catch up with the summon here. He almost gets away from us, but this time we are fast enough and we catch him just barely with our second knife or maybe the first if his connection was really bad. It's kind of hard to tell. And then, of course, it wouldn't be an Elden Ring invasion video unless I had to run somebody down directly afterwards. So this man <laughs> just keeps running, just keeps running. And eventually, I think we get him with the throwing knives too, right? Yeah, we're having a good day for throwing knives. Good day for throwing knives. But yeah, it definitely wouldn't be an invasion video if the host didn't immediately run away after their summon dies. Unfortunately, see, there's unfortunately again. See, there's that word. Anyway, unfortunately... <laughs> This man has a rapier, and rapiers, like pole arms, are one of the weapons that, for whatever reason, I just don't have the timing on. Look how bad that is. That's just terrible. And we keep trying, too. We keep trying like it's going to work like some kind of crazy person. Stop it. Stop that. You're bad at this. And it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And for a while, we just kind of avoid them, and they, they chase after us. We're getting a little bit disheartened. And then we magically manage to land it. I'm so happy. God, it's, it's it's so hard for me to get those. I don't know why rapiers just throw me off so much. I, they're probably not even that different. Maybe it's just the animation. I don't know. But this host doesn't run immediately away, which is nice. And I, I don't even know what type of sword this is. Somebody help me out there. But I can't parry those types of swords either. And it's starting to sound like I can't parry anything. But I swear that's not the case. There are just certain specific weapon types that I struggle with quite a bit. I don't know why we just took these two spells to the face, but then we do. And then we take a third. And again, it wouldn't be an Elden Ring invasion video without a disconnection. God damn it. This guy is interesting. This guy, does he attack? I don't know if this guy attacks the entire round of this summon here. He just keeps using his shield, which was really, really odd, really concerning, honestly. I, I was pretty sure I was going to get a guard break on him. I don't know if all of his points are in stamina or what, but we don't manage to get a guard break on him. And he doesn't attack a single time, and he just kind of dies. It was very strange. I, it's almost like he wanted to die, which is a little bit sad. And here we go chasing down the host again. At least they didn't run too far. Maybe they were just looking for an open field to fight in. Um, and we are going to try to carry and parry these uh, these little daggers is that they might do a lot of damage. You never know where these people's points are. I can't tell if this guy's going to pass his vigor check yet, but those didn't do anything. Holy crap. That did no damage whatsoever. And nope, you are not going to pass your vigor check. Guys, you got to put points in vigor. Look at this. This is three hits. Three hits when I eventually get the third one. There. Oh, nope, nope. It's a, it's a jumping attack. There it is. Bam. All right, guys, this is going to be the last invasion of the day, but I did save the best for last. I really enjoyed this one. These guys were pretty friendly. They say hi. They come at me one at a time, which is my favorite type of multiplayer invasion. But for whatever reason, this guy just stands here for a second, which is very strange. But we do poke him. I'm not sure if there was like some sort of etiquette I was supposed to follow that I didn't. But uh, we do get him with our weapon art, too. And you can see that that's about the amount of damage it normally does to a person. It doesn't do a whole lot. Those other guys just did not have points in vigor. We pull out the dual spears. He pulls out the dual hammers. Now, those dual attacks, though, you can definitely parry. And if we can bait him into a running attack, here it is. Bam! That is the end of Large Man. And he didn't have his full health bar. So I don't think he survives that. No, he does not. I'm sorry, my friend. Thanks for playing. All right, next up, we got uh, Brass Shield Guy. And I, I can't tell if he's a caster or a melee person. He's a little bit of most. This is like uh, my first Dex int build or something. That's what this is. So we kind of scare him off with our little volcano pots. See if we can't check his vigor. He's pretty good at blocking, though. So we're going to see. There it is. If we can't get a guard break. And we did. That's the end of uh, my first int Dex build. And the host doesn't run away. This is a great day. This is a great day for hosts everywhere. 
But he does try to get this super slow cast on me. I don't think that was a very good decision. I don't know if we're going to be able to parry him, though, if he keeps casting, right? That may not be an option. But we're going to give it a shot. We will see. No, no, no. See, he definitely... He definitely just seems like a caster, right? I'm pretty sure we don't get the parry here, but I, he also does not in any way, shape, or form pass his vigor check. He is dodging our little throwing knives here. Now, I'm going to pretend like I did this completely on purpose. We're going to throw down a volcano pot smoke screen, switch to our throwing knives, and that is the end of my friend. I don't think he even realized what was happening. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't on purpose, though, but we're going to pretend like it was. But that is going to be it for invasion log number four. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the invasions as much as I am. However, they're becoming a little more sparse at this level, so we may have to move on and up as we continue. Leave a like to help me out with the algorithm, and don't forget to subscribe for the next episode. Until next time, thanks for watching.